Hello, 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 hello. In this video, we're going to cover creating something called a cron job. And we're going to be doing this on Linux and Mac. For all intents and purposes, they are the same. We invoke the cron job the same way. It's going to be the same. So if you're on another Linux, Linux machine or a Mac, you can follow along with this tutorial fine. The first question you might be asking yourself, though, is what the hell is a cron job? Well, cron, I think, is Latin for time. If it's not Latin for time, I apologize, but it's something like that. I know it's, it relates something like that. It might not be Latin, maybe it's Greek or something like that, but I'm pretty sure it's Latin. Um, and job is just something that gets done. So it is something that gets done at specific times. So maybe we want to run a backup script every Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Well, we would use the cron tab to do that. So the cron tab is the way we do this. So let's have a gander at what that is. To get to it, you type in cron tab at your terminal, um, type in cron tab dash E. The first time you run this is gonna say, oh, what editor would you like to use? You probably can pick nano or vim. It doesn't really matter. You can change it later on if you don't like what you pick. But I've already done that. So if I press enter, it's just gonna take me to our cron tab file. And this is what the file looks like. I've just gone straight to the bottom of the file because I've got some example scripts that we're going to be running some examples on um, for the purposes of this tutorial. So what this script is, there's two of the exact same one here. All it does is it sends an email um, with some information about moon phases. And at the moment, I have it set to run at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I have this one below here that I'm just going to be messing about with for an example. So let's first change this first value to an asterisk. An asterisk in this uh, context means any value, so it's going to basically run all the time. So if I just quickly save that, it's going to say installing a new cron tab. And momentarily, in the right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little notification saying we've got an email from this, this cron tab uh, job. It's going to say something like our oh, moon phase or whatever. Um, that's just to show that this works and that I don't have to actually run any scripts. This will do it for us um, this, at the time we specify. So let's go through what these values mean here. So the first part of this is we've got some values. These relate to the time. The second thing we've got here is the script we want to run, the job we want to run. This could be a shell script, it could be a Python script, it could be many, many things that you would want to execute. So what do these values mean? Well, these values mean um, the first value means the minutes. Second is the hours. The third value is the day of the month. Ah, and you can just see there, we've just got the email for the cron job. So I'm gonna really quickly just change this back to zero so it doesn't carry on going off because it will just carry on at this point. So we've got the minutes, the hour, the day of the month, we've got the month, and then we've got the day of the week. So running through this, let's say I said, well, we want to run this script at 10 o'clock every day. At exactly 10 o'clock, well, how do we do that? Well, we can say we replace this value with 10. Okay, so now this runs at the zeroth minute of the 10th hour of every day of the month of every month and every day of the week. Okay, what if I wanted to run this um, at every half hour? Um, so maybe I wanted to run it uh, at 10 o'clock and half 10. So the way I do that is I would put a comma here and I would put the number 30. So the minutes go from zero to 69, uh, not 69, to 59 and we can specify a range of these values, or actually we can specify a, a number of these values by separating them with commas. So this will be the this will be on the hour, this will be half past, and this will be quarter to the next hour. Uh, what if we say we wanted to run it for every minute within a range? Well, we could do, um, let's say we wanted to run it for the first 10 minutes of the hour. So every minute on the hour, so from zero to the 10th minute, we would run this script. So that would be 10 times. That's something you can do there. You could also combine what we just did and we could have um, a range of values. So we could say, oh, I wanna run it from the 0th minute to the 10th minute, but I also wanna run it from the 20th to the 30th minute. 
and that's perfectly fine you can do that as well you could also do what's called a step value so for example step values are really good because what step values do is they allow you to say look I want to run this every two minutes for example so we could say um, I want to run it in the range of let's say every minute but I actually want to run it every two minutes so we can divide it by two we're not defining it this, this is the step operator here so we say every two minutes so instead of us going up in ones we're going up in twos essentially or we could do the same thing for five minutes every five minutes and so we can basically specify any time we want which is really great we could say oh we want it to run on the first day of the month by swapping this value here we want to run it maybe from um, every day of the month but we only want to do it in threes so every third day of the month we want to run this and we could do that uh, we could also say well let's say we want to run this um, every month well how can we do that well what we can do is we can say just put this asterisk there maybe we want to run it from January to March so we could say one to three we could also say um, Jan to Ma like that that would be perfectly fine as well so let's put that back and days of the week these start on zero and go up to six so zero is Sunday six is Saturday and it's very much the same thing that we've just gone over so we can specify what days we want to run um, with days of the week as well you can also specify um, what day you want it to run so you can say Sunday like that and that will run on a on a Sunday so uh, that about covers everything you need to know for a cron job so hopefully you found that video interesting if you did uh, you leave it a like if you have any questions you can leave them down in below in the comments i do try and answer the vast majority of them um yeah thank you very much for watching uh, bye bye, -bye.